Hey, how's it going? Miles here at Tactical Hive. And every Sunday, we are now going to give you guys a video that focuses on competition. As you can see, I have my competition rig. And if you've been following me on uh, RG Stories for a while, you know that I've been competing for a little over a year now. And that's something that I'm really focusing on right now, trying to improve my skills in practical shooting competitions. So primarily USPSA competitions. I do every kind of shooting there is. I, I like militaristic training, defensive training, but at this moment in time, I'm focusing on sports. So there are certain things that are different, but there's a lot of benefits to competition shooting. So if you guys haven't considered it, I, I really do recommend looking into it. Of course, there are some things you need to consider that may not translate to defensive shooting, but there's so many benefits that to me outweigh the cost. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to training both so that you know when to apply certain techniques and when to let go of other things, okay? That said, every week I'm going to share what I've been experiencing in my journey. I'm no expert, I'm no grandmaster, I'm no world champion, but I take this seriously and I want to help those who want to get into the sport. So today we're gonna to share six tips for people who want to get into shooting. They are in no particular order and they are primarily based on my own experience. Everyone's gonna have a little bit of a different take. So this is going to be what I recommend for people who are literally just getting into competition. Tip number one, focus on safety. You need to really be aware of where your muzzle is pointing, having your finger on the trigger or not. Read the rule book, understand where you can point that gun, the procedures of loading and unloading. So all these organizations are going to provide you a rule book so that you know exactly what you need to do at the start of a stage, at the end of the stage, clearing your firearm, loading your firearm, all of that stuff. Safety is the most important because you're going to be running and this is brand new. So you're gonna be running all over the place. It's no longer stationary shooting for USPSA style uh, competitions or practical style competitions. So you really need to be aware. So make sure you're reading the rule book, look at other people, see what they're doing. And by saying focus on safety, you don't wanna be thinking go fast and caring so much about your score and things like that. Really just be safe, have fun. You're getting to learn the sport. So focus on safety, tip number one. The second tip, work on your accuracy. When you are competing and you're seeing other people compete in your squad, in a competition, you're, you're usually going to be squatted up with uh, multiple people. And let's say you're with someone who's more experienced, you're gonna see them moving quickly, shooting quickly, and that might encourage you to do the same thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're first starting, it, it can be dangerous and also discouraging because you might not be getting your shots. Moving and shooting is probably the most advanced thing about shooting, or some will argue the only advanced thing about pistol shooting. So if you are moving and shooting, it is going to be difficult if you're trying to just run around and blaze those targets, you're gonna end up having shots all over the place, right? So you're not going to have accurate shots. So when you're starting off, focus in on getting your accurate shots. Treat it like you were, it's just a, it's a level up from when you were on a flat range and just doing stationary shooting. You might run into position, and instead of just running into position, and fire, 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 and, and move right away like you want see more experienced shooters, Take your time, however much time you need, get into position, take those shots, make sure they're accurate, and then move. And little by little, you can improve upon your speed, your transitions from target to target, from position to position, that will come. But this goes hand in hand with being safe. If you're safe, you're not gonna be running all around and crazy because it's the first time you're doing things, and that's gonna give you the opportunity to really dive into tip two, which is just focus on your accuracy. And the more accurate you shoot, the better you're going to feel at the end of the competition, and that's gonna encourage you to do more, to wanna compete more. Whereas imagine you're running around and all of your shots are all over the place and don't hit, that could be discouraging and you might not wanna compete again. Tip number three. Don't worry about the scoring or your placement. You know, a lot of people, they get caught up in having to perform or where they're going to rank at the end of the competition. Don't worry about that. Have fun, focus on your shooting, and you're going to see that by doing that, you're probably gonna perform even better. You won't, you won't be nervous, you won't feel like you're obligated to do good or anything like that. And the very fact that people are watching, it's not gonna make that big of a deal because you know you're a beginner and you're not really there to perform. And I'll tell you the truth, my first uh, 
four to six competitions, I, I had no clue what the scoring was. I literally just went there shooting. People were telling me about hit factor this, A, C, uh, hardcover. I, I don't know anything about that. Even, <laughs> to, again, to be honest, even now, I don't fully understand everything. People tell me things, I'm just, I'm a shooter. I don't really, you know, now I'm getting into it, so I, I really gotta get more serious and understand the scoring. But when you're starting off, you guys don't really need to, right? Focus on being safe, just getting your shots on target, understand how the sport works out, have fun, and uh, really everything else is just going to come. So don't worry about your ranking, your, your scores, anything like that, focus on the act of shooting. Fourth tip, don't be preoccupied with your gear, your belt setup, your magazine pouches, the type of magazines you use, all that stuff, tricking out your gun, yet. I say that because when you're starting, you don't need to worry about that stuff. The most important thing is to get out there, understand how things work, a lot of people try to do their homework and that's great. A lot of people might practice and kind of want to get the best gear, all that best strategy, things like that. But the reality is this, you will hardly see a shooter come in in their first, first match and really be able to throw down with the best, of, best out there. So you're going to, no matter how much you do, you probably are going to suck. Right? So, so don't worry too much about the gear, focus on shooting. And later on, the reason why I said yet is later on, depending on the division that you enter, you might start tweaking things so that your performance can improve. But without the basics and understanding the little things, it doesn't matter what you do with your gear, that uh, your performance is still going to be subpar. And if you do focus too much on the gear, you're taking away from the attention on learning the techniques, the mechanics, how the game is played. So don't worry about your gear just yet. Really, you probably have heard this, other experienced shooters or uh, competitors, just go out there. Have the gear that you have. You need a belt, pistol, magazine, pouch, eye, eye ear pro, ammo, and that's it. Then head to the competition. That's all you need. Just use whatever rig you have. And the, the people there are always friendly. They're going to help you out and help you tell you kind of the best way to use what you have. And then later on, they might even give you some recommend recommendations as to what you should switch to if you decide to continue competition. Tip number five walk through the stage. So if you are going to be competing in USPSA, IPSC, or if, if you're international, you want to walk the stage. Meaning you're kind of, you're not trying to walk this like an expert right now. You just need to understand how many targets there are so that you don't run the stage or the course of fire with, you know, missing a target or two. And that happens a lot because you're going to realize that this is not just time stress anymore. You're gonna be moving around, you have people watching, and there might be targets in hidden areas. So if you do not w rehearse the stage in your mind, the course of fire, you're gonna be walking around. At the end, you might miss a target because again, there's overwhelm. It's the first time you're doing this. You know, you're doing a lot of things at once and there's people watching. So basic thing is, you know, walk through the stage, count how many targets there are, and th this is just basic. This is not how professional shooters would walk the stage, but this is just you getting in there so that you know where the targets are. So after you kind of, you're gonna see other people walking at more experienced shooters as well, but in terms of the more important things to get out of, just know where the targets are. Know where the targets are so that you don't forget them and you don't get flustered because you can get frustrated if you miss a target and all of a sudden, everything just goes down the drain. So at least remembering where the targets are, you're naturally gonna use whatever movement you want to engage those targets. So a quick run through of where they are, rehearse it in your mind, okay? So after, let's say, walking the stages are done, all right? Everyone now is shooting. So before it's your turn, rehearse where the targets are in your mind uh, several times. So that way, when it's time for you to go, buzzer starts, you'll be able to engage all of them and you won't forget them. And the last tip, which is, Probably more for those who really are competitive in nature and know they are serious about the sport and want to get better. I would say squad up with the most experienced shooters that you can find. Now I know there's there's two types of different people here. There are those who get discouraged or they you know they don't like to be with the best out there because they are going to look really bad among the really good shooters. But there's another way of thinking, another way of looking at it, and it's the way I've looked at it, is if I see grandmasters in a squad who I like their style and I want to learn, I'm in there. So I remember my very first competition, I was in the super squad of a local match. You know, it's because I want to see how they perform. So depending on you know, your, your personality type, uh, but if you, are want, if you are the type who really wants to improve, there's no better way to improve 
and shortcut your learning than looking and seeing what people are doing. And as I mentioned, a lot of shooters are very friendly. So if you ask them questions, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Things like that. They're going to let you know, you know? So that is my sixth tip. And I have the personality type where I've done that from the very beginning. I, I look for good shooters and I, I want to squad with them. If you are the type who, you know, is maybe this is your first time shooting your brand, you know, your, your absolute first time, maybe you can forget this tip for now because even if you are watching the, the best shooters out there, you might not pick up all the little details. But that said, you might still, you know, just little movements you might, uh, which might help you. But if you feel that you might just get discouraged because you're not performing up to their level, then scrap tip number six. There you guys have it. Six tips for shooters who are brand new to competition. When I first started out, I wish I focused more on these six tips that I just shared you. I think they're gonna help you out. They're going to be something that will kind of give you direction so you're not completely lost or overwhelmed in your first competition or first few competitions. That being said, if there's anything that you want to learn or put on our radar for a future video, since this is going to be a weekly series that we release every Sunday, please leave it in the comment section below. There's a lot of topics that I can cover and I wanna cover based on thus far my journey into competition shooting. So so it might not align with exactly what you want to uh, know about. So leave it in the comment section so that we know and we can plan that for a future topic. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.